hey guys what's up welcome back to another video today 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 as y'all can see from the title we got us some wendy's um so i hope everybody's having a blessed week first i want to say it feels like a friday but it's not a friday it's only thursday tomorrow is friday however and i hope everybody's had a blessed week a great week a prosperous week we're gonna go ahead and pray because your girl is starving and i am ready to eat Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Bless this name, which just to our bodies. Keep us motivated, determined, and walk in your direction, Lord. Make us more like you and less like us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, y'all, I was going to get the double baconator or the triple baconator or whatever it is, the new, I think there's like a new burger from Wendy's or something. However, y'all know I don't eat bacon, so I was like, I'm just gonna get the Dave's Double. Forgive me for like looking around everywhere, y'all, because there's like so much going on at this park today. I have no idea what it is. We got us some ranch. So yeah, I got the Dave's Double, which is a pretty big sandwich. I got some fries over here. Yes. Mm. I am so hungry. Like I said, guys, I have a Coke down here also. Ooh. I hope y'all have had a blessed week, like I said. Mm. Yesterday was my niece's birthday. She turned nine. Everybody say happy birthday to her down in the comments. Mm. Can y'all believe how fast time goes by? Like, it's just absolutely crazy. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna get into the burger, y'all. This is a big burger, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this. It's got cheese, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, and two big old patties. Oh, it's also got some onion, one onion, some pickles. Let's go ahead and take a bite, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Juicy. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It is very juicy. Mm. I haven't had Wendy's in a long time. Well, I don't think it was that long, but it feels like a long time. <laughs> I have some spicy oh, chicken nuggets here. Mm. Mm. Wow. Like I said, there's so much going on here today, y'all. Mm. I have no idea why <laughs> they have like people cutting the grass over here at this park today so there's like workers everywhere mm. but who cares right oh these are kind of spicy crispy Have a Coke over here. Mm -mm -mm. 
so yeah guys isn't it crazy how fast like time goes by the years like look at this burger mm. The years are just like passing us by and I was just talking about this yesterday because I was like dang okay my niece just turned nine and that went by like super quick like the, the nine years went by so fast so then I'm like five years is gonna go by like five years went by so fast Gianni's five and I'm just like, hmm, another five years is going to go by faster, and in about, like, eight years or something, they're going to be, no, yeah, they're going to be, like, adults almost. It's just crazy how fast time goes by, especially, like, when you have kids, it's like it happens faster. Mm. that's why we shouldn't spend our days like being mad or upset or angry or even like staying mad at people for a certain amount of time we shouldn't do that because what are you like what are you proving when you're holding a grudge or when you're staying mad or upset at somebody it's like you're trying to prove something, but you're not doing anything to the other person. You're just really hurting yourself. Mm. There's been so many times that I have like held a grudge, I guess you could say, mm. because I thought I was doing something and I really was not doing anything like besides hurting myself. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, they about to cut the grass right behind me too. That is the enemy. Yes, it is. Mm. Because, mm, let me say this before they come over here. Um, the joy of the Lord is your strength. So, he wants you to be joyful. He wants you to be happy. He doesn't want you to be upset or mad or angry. And when we do that, we are basically like giving in to the enemy and what he wants for us. Um, you just don't want to do that. You don't want to spend fe spend so many days feeding into like the BS. Or people will say smart things and you'll say something smart back. Instead, say nothing. Sometimes say, silence speaks louder than actually saying something. You know? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You can't just like expect to give out stress and negativity and receive peace in return. I was watching Bishop Samuel Blake's earlier today, y'all. And please excuse the noise because they just had to come over here today right now mm. Mm. forgive me lord <laughs> they're just doing their job but yeah mm. when you give out negativity or anything negative you're gonna return you're gonna get in return negativity back you're gonna get stress back like everything that you give out to the the world 
uh, you're going to receive back. Mm. I was watching Bishop Samuel Blake's, that's what I was saying, and he'd been doing a series this whole week of like how to not, how to live stress-free. And if y'all don't follow him, make sure you guys go do that because he's really, really, really good. And mm. Mm. And it's really all a mental state. Like, <laughs> they're probably like, girl, are you going to move? We need to do some work. <laughs> but, <clears throat> yeah, it's really all in your, in your head. Everything that you tell yourself or everything that happens, everything that you believe it wasn't there once before like it wasn't always there it's just something that you have to change it's a mindset that you really do have to change mm. Mm -mm -mm. oh I was so hungry, y'all. Like, so hungry. Mm. I hope y'all are, you know, staying prayed up and positive and not giving in to like these people and like you know just people in general because that the bible says the word literally says like a fool will always have something to say like you don't always need to have the last word you really do not like like i said sometimes it's better to not say nothing at all than to say something because it's like you're igniting a fire it's like bringing wood to a fire that's what bishop said he was like instead of bringing wood to a fire you need to be the extinguisher and let it go I'm so sorry y'all for all the noise but hey that's what happens when you do a car bang <laughs> I think I need to get out of here though because these people are really trying to work and I'm just in the way mm -mm -mm. oh I'm so full so full Whew. uh oh I hope y'all enjoyed this video mm. I hope that it helps somebody out oh. if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel make sure you guys click that bell subscribe comment down below mm. let me know what other videos you guys want to see and as always I will see you all in my next video bye